responders to get out and vote. The primary is next month, and Organizing for America held four registration drives in the Green Mountain State. Fox 24's Brandon Hudson joins us live with more. Brandon? Hey, Nicole, the warm weather did not stop people from walking the neighborhoods near downtown. They say with an important election just a few weeks away, it's crucial to make sure folks are aware that their vote could change Vermont's political landscape. It's a 17. Nina Harrington has been meeting and greeting people in Burlington all day. It's a job she volunteered to do, help people get registered to vote. It means a lot to me to uh, start to make a difference again in politics. Harrington recently joined Organizing for America, a political group that shares her views. I'm a Democrat. Do you plan on voting? Volunteers from Organizing for America canvass neighborhoods like this one near downtown for a voter registration drive. Joined by her son this hot Saturday afternoon, Harrington is one of dozens trying to drive voters to the polls for the August 24th primary. That's part of what we're saying on the doors. It's, you know, the, the primary is August 24th. You must get out there and support the candidate of your choice. Jesse Bragg, Organizing for America's state director, says the primary carries a lot of significance because it's earlier than years before and Vermonters will elect a new governor. Bragg's group hopes folks elect a Democrat, not naming a specific candidate. The best way to look at it is we have five very, very capable candidates. For the Republicans and Independents they met, Bragg says they didn't push their agenda, just reminded them to vote. As for Harrington, she says she didn't catch too many people at home. Maybe she'll be luckier next time. I hope that I have the chance to do it again, yes, definitely. And for the people who were not at home, they received a card to remind them to get to the polls. Organizing for America says it will have more events before the election. They plan to hit at least a few thousand homes before the primary. If you would like to learn more about Organizing for America's voter registration drive, you can find a link on our website following this newscast.